AHN. Presets allow to store and recall all current processing parameters and settings, as well as preamp information and routing. Presets can also be used to trigger track playback from the internal playback engines. When a preset is stored, it contains all parameters and settings. However, by default, no parameters or settings are recalled when a preset is recalled. Parameters to be recalled must be specified on a per preset basis. To set which parameters are recalled, open the Manage page and the Presets tab. Once a preset is stored, open the Recall Scope window and select which parameters are to be loaded upon preset recall. Individual parameters, sections of parameters or the entire configuration of the unit can be selected. White blocks display complete parameter recall where half blocks show where only some of the parameters to be recalled have been selected. The recall item configuration can be copied from or to other presets for fast setup. Up to 500 presets can be stored in AHM and each preset can have an embedded recall, which means that recalling this preset also triggers one or multiple other preset recalls. Presets can also be triggered on other Allen & Heath devices on the network using embedded recall. To trigger playback from a preset, simply select a preset and press the Track Playback button. Select a track to playback and press OK. You will need to make sure tracks have been loaded onto the AHM unit beforehand. More on this in a playback specific video. Custom strings can be broadcast over TCP IP when recalling a preset for communicating with other external devices. Each preset can have a unique custom string attached with it. Select external control to broadcast the custom string on the local control network. Select IP control to broadcast the custom string to a specific device on the network. Enter the IP address, port and mode of the target device. Custom strings should be entered in comma or space separated two character hexadecimal strings. Once defined, the custom string is sent on recall of the preset. Preset crossfades can be set in the Preset Crossfades tab. This sets how long it takes for levels to change from their current setting to the settings of the preset being recalled. Crossfades can be configured for input levels, zone levels, group levels, input to zone crosspoint levels and zone to zone crosspoint levels. Click on input, zone or group to set crossfade times for these levels. Crossfades can be set individually in multiples or globally. Select the levels you wish to apply a crossfade to, set the desired crossfade time and click apply to select it. Different crossfade times can be specified for all levels. For instance, input 1 could have a crossfade time of 5 seconds and input 2 could have a crossfade time of 10 seconds. Input to zone crosspoint or zone to zone crosspoint crossfades can be set individually in multiples or globally. Select the cross points you wish to apply a crossfade to, set the desired crossfade time and click apply to select it. The current crossfade time will be displayed in the cross point grid and highlighted white if enabled. Click on a cross point to disable the crossfade. A disabled crossfade is indicated by a black cross point in the grid. Different crossfade values can be specified for each preset. Remember to store the preset after making changes to crossfade times.